Mr. Angry today. <laughs> He's so angry for oi. No. What are you angry for? Oi. Dickhead. Oi. Oi. <laughs> no. Dickhead. Let's see, just roll around. Where are you going? Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> I think I don't need to shout anymore because the, uh, the weather conditions have completely changed for today. <clears throat> Although it's still, there is still a nip to the air. Uh, when you jump back into the shade but at this present moment in time that sun feels so warm and glorious but the whole weather conditions a big bright thing there has just completely changed so our van is over there somewhere in the sunlight um, we are still up in the Cairngorms and in Archie, we had a little discussion um, about what to do, where to go. I'm actually quite content to like not drive at this moment in time and just take a deep breath and get out and walk. Now the weather's completely changed for the better, for now. Um, we just gotta keep an eye on the weather. Uh, see how long it lasts, but hopefully we'll either be here or Fort William for now. 
and eventually we might go back to the old sky. Shame because if we'd had this weather on the old sky, it would have been absolutely fantastic. Hey ho. Well, good morning. It is 20th of January today and we are leaving the Cairngorms. We, we've been here five days or something. It's pretty long enough in my view in one location. So we're heading to uh, towards Lossimev Way of the Cairngorms uh, to a place called Nairn and there is a garage there that's got a Revolution Laundrette. So <clears throat> as always uh, you need to do some housekeeping so I am going to head there, it's about an hour away and go and do some laundry <coughs> and while I'm there uh, chill out while the laundry's doing, grab a coffee and check on the internet and some orders my online business. Get some work done. From there, we're going to then head uh, west as if you're going towards Inverness. And then we're going to keep heading west as if you're going to go towards Kinloch U. And I've always I've seen the park up and it's down like a massive pass. And I, I always kept saying to myself, um, oh, it'd be great to park up there one day. So I'm going to go there. That's my plan. I was looking at some images of my time in Scotland last year and not far from where I'm going was where I was parked up uh, this time last year. So I was kind of like going, should I go back and do like a review and all this and other? Uh, but sorry, I'm gonna go to somewhere I've never been before. And then I think from there, once we've got um, on the way through to there, we'll get LPG and we'll fill up with some diesel and stuff like that. Kinlock U, we can go and get some water. And then I think our next port call is there is a park up uh, near Castle Dorney on the way to the Isle of Sky. Never parked there before, so I'm going to go and try that. So, and then obviously you can imagine we're going to be heading slowly back to the Isle of Sky. And that is our plan. So stick with us, come join us, and let's see where we get to over the next few days. So we just, um, we've just driven 56 miles from Avonmore. Uh, we're in a little village called Nairn and there is a uh, service station and it's got a revolution laundry. So laundry's in, uh, two loads, one dog, one me. Uh, they're going to take about 44 minutes to wash and then uh, probably about 30, 40 minutes, 45 minutes in the dryer. So we're just going to sit here. And one of the good things about it being a service station is uh, go and treat yourself to a coffee. G'day. So... Uh, if you've never, if you're not a van lifer, I'm trying to rephrase this in the right way. If you've never done your laundry at a Revolution Laundrette, these are brilliant. So uh, th this is a petrol station, um, service station, um, in Nairn, um, north of the Cairngorm. So we've driven here, we've been here before. <clears throat> it's great because obviously you can get a Costa coffee takeaway, get some snacks or whatever. There's a toilet, there's a fresh water point, um, there's a rubbish point as well. So it's pretty well serviced <clears throat> and you can come here and throw your laundry in. So these are really good uh, things to use. So you can literally put all your stuff in to the machines which have done two washers and a dryer and then it takes a car paint here. Yeah.
Another one of those uh, jobs you got to do in life. So Kinlock Hugh Community Toilets, amazing. Put a donation in the box as always. Fresh water, toilets, so on. Perfect. So we're just filling up and then we'll be on our way.
day. So we are at the top of the Upper Cross Pass. Yeah, but we've just driven the upper cross pass, me and Archie, and we're not going to stay here, um, not because of anything, but because we have plans to go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, we've just driven the whole of that pass, got some great drone footage, hopefully you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, we're going to chill out here for a couple of minutes and then head back down the pass. Um, away from Applecross and head towards the Isle of Skye that way. So that's our plan. So come join us. So it's just been like this all day. Uh, you can see like there's a big thick uh, envelope all wrapped in like this fog mist, just drizzling away, strong winds coming in, just really miserable. Yeah, that knife for you. 